As autumn approaches, we start to wonder what winter will bring. Will it be harsh and snowy or mild and manageable? Early winter forecasts capture our imagination because they help us prepare for everything from travel to heating bills. Long-range forecasting isn't about exact predictions, but about spotting trends and probabilities using global climate clues. Today's forecasts rely on sophisticated data, from Pacific sea temperatures to Siberian snow cover, all influencing our local weather. The interconnectedness of our planet means events thousands of miles away can shape our winter. As we look at early signs for winter 2025 to 2026, we're reading the first chapters of a story that's still unfolding. These early clues give us a crucial head start on whatever winter has in store. Siberian snow cover is a key early signal for a cold winter in North America and Europe. This year, Siberia's snowpack is already more extensive than last year, setting off a powerful feedback loop that cools the air above. The growing Siberian high acts as a cold air factory, building a reservoir of frigid air that can spill south when triggered. Meanwhile, cold is pooling in the Arctic and Alaska, with temperatures already dropping sharply. These developments create a potent setup. Siberian snow and Arctic cold work together influencing the polar vortex. A strong Siberian high can disrupt the polar vortex, making it more likely for Arctic air to surge south. This dynamic sets the stage for potentially memorable winter outbreaks across the northern hemisphere. To predict what this winter might bring, forecasters often turn to the past, searching for years with similar global weather patterns. One of the most relevant analogs is the winter of 2008 to 2009, a season that stands out in meteorological records for its dramatic contrasts and impactful weather events across the United States. During that year, colder than normal waters in the eastern Pacific, known as a La Nina pattern, combined with a particular jet stream configuration. This setup funneled cold air from the Arctic deep into the heart of the country, resulting in a winter that was much colder than average for large portions of the U.S. The jet stream acted like a conveyor belt, steering storms and cold fronts across the continent. A persistent high-pressure ridge developed over the western U.S., while a deep trough formed in the east. This atmospheric pattern allowed frigid Arctic air to plunge southward, effectively splitting the nation into two distinct weather zones, one cold and snowy, the other relatively mild. The Pacific Northwest, Northern Plains and Upper Midwest bore the brunt of this setup, experiencing frequent snowstorms, icy winds, and persistent cold. Cities and towns in these regions saw snow pile up week after week, creating a true winter wonderland, but also challenging conditions for travel and daily life. Meanwhile, the South and much of the East enjoyed a very different winter. These areas saw milder temperatures, less snow and more sunshine, with some places even experiencing drought conditions. The contrast between regions was striking with some people bundling up against blizzards while others enjoyed relatively pleasant winter days. In the North, fast-moving clipper systems, small but intense snowstorms, swept through repeatedly. North Dakota, in particular, recorded one of its snowiest winters on record, as these clippers brought fresh snow every few days, keeping the landscape blanketed for months. This historical pattern is a powerful reminder that, if current signals and ocean temperatures remain similar, we could see a repeat of these sharp regional differences. Some areas may brace for significant cold and snow, while others might escape with a much milder season. The 2008 to 2009 analog offers a valuable roadmap for forecasters, helping them anticipate what might be in store. But it's important to remember that no two winters are ever exactly alike. Small changes in the atmosphere can lead to big differences in local weather. Still, looking back at 2008 to 2009 highlights the potential for sharp regional contrasts this season, reminding us that winter's story is always full of surprises. This winter, one of the most influential and intriguing climate phenomena is the so-called blob, a vast expanse of abnormally warm water that has developed in the North Pacific Ocean. First discovered in 2013, the blob has reappeared several times over the past decade, and its presence this season is already making waves in the world of weather forecasting. Stretching from the Gulf of Alaska down toward the U.S. West Coast, this warm anomaly is not just a curiosity for oceanographers, it's a major driver of atmospheric patterns that can shape winter across North America. The blob acts like a heat engine, fueling persistent high-pressure ridges over the Gulf of Alaska. These ridges act as atmospheric roadblocks, forcing the jet stream, the fast-moving river of air high above us, to buckle and twist in dramatic ways. 
As the jet stream bends, it can steer frigid Arctic air masses southward, plunging deep into the heart of the continent. This means that while Alaska and parts of the Pacific Northwest may experience stretches of milder, even unseasonably warm weather, the central and eastern United States are often left bracing for intense cold snaps and winter storms. The contrast can be striking, one region basking in relative warmth, while another shivers under a blanket of snow and ice. It's a paradox. The presence of a warm water anomaly in the Pacific can actually help set the stage for a brutally cold winter in cities like Chicago, Boston, and New York. These cities may see more frequent and severe winter weather events, all thanks to the distant but powerful influence of the blob. The blob doesn't just affect temperatures, it also energizes storms off the Pacific coast, helping to reinforce the pattern of a strong ridge in the west and a deep trough in the east. This setup can lead to a conveyor belt of storms, bringing heavy precipitation to some areas and prolonged dry spells to others. This feedback loop can lock in weather patterns for weeks at a time. Some regions may endure relentless cold and snow, while others remain stuck in a pattern of mild dry weather. The result is a winter of extremes, with sharp contrasts from one part of the country to another. As the season unfolds, the strength and position of the blob will be a key factor in determining where winter's fiercest battles between warm and cold air are fought. Meteorologists will be watching closely, as even subtle shifts in the blob's location can have far-reaching impacts. Understanding the blob's behavior is essential for predicting not just local weather, but the overall character of this winter across North America. So, as we track the blob's evolution, we gain valuable insight into what the coming months may hold making it a crucial piece of the winter weather puzzle. The jet stream is often called the master conductor of winter weather, orchestrating the movement of storms and shaping the very character of the season. High above the surface this fast-moving river of air snakes its way across the continent, acting as a boundary between frigid arctic air to the north and milder subtropical air to the south. Its path is never static, constantly shifting, bending, and weaving in response to global weather patterns. This winter, early indicators suggest the jet stream will be highly amplified and wavy, a pattern that's often synonymous with active, extreme weather. When the jet stream undulates dramatically, it can create sharp contrasts in temperature and set the stage for powerful storms, blizzards, and even sudden thaws. Forecasters expect the jet stream to dip southward into the Pacific Northwest early in the season. This southward plunge opens the door for cold Arctic air to spill into the northern Rockies and the Great Plains, bringing the potential for early snowfalls and prolonged cold snaps in these regions. Residents here should prepare for a winter that could arrive sooner and hit harder than usual. As the season progresses, a ridge of high pressure may build inland across the western United States. This ridge acts like a wall forcing the jet stream to buckle and push a downstream trough deeper into the central and eastern U.S. This classic setup is notorious for fueling major winter storms along the east coast, sometimes resulting in nor'easters that can paralyze cities with heavy snow and fierce winds. Beneath the protective ridge, the southwest is likely to remain mild and dry with sunny days and little precipitation. Places like Arizona and New Mexico may see a quieter winter, with fewer storms and above-average temperatures, offering a stark contrast to the wintry chaos unfolding elsewhere. Meanwhile, under the influence of the deepening trough, the Midwest and Northeast are set to experience repeated rounds of cold air and snow. These regions could see frequent snowstorms, icy conditions, and persistent cold, making for a challenging winter commute and increased demand for heating. The battlegrounds where these features meet will be zones of uncertainty, with mixed precipitation, sleet, freezing rain, and dramatic temperature swings. Here, winter can change in a matter of hours, keeping residents and forecasters alike on their toes. Even small shifts in the jet stream's position can mean the difference between a snow-packed winter and one that's surprisingly mild. A slight northward or southward move can alter storm tracks, precipitation types, and temperature patterns across entire regions. That's why meteorologists pay such close attention to the jet stream's every move. Predicting its path is the key to unlocking the entire winter outlook, helping us prepare for whatever the season may bring. Arctic sea ice is another crucial piece of the winter puzzle. This year's ice extent is well below 1980s levels, but higher than recent record lows, suggesting a relatively healthy ice pack. 
More ice means less heat escapes from the ocean, helping to stabilize and cool the polar region. This can strengthen the pool of Arctic air, but also reinforce the polar vortex, sometimes keeping the cold locked up north. The relationship between sea ice and winter weather is complex. More ice can mean either a colder or more stable winter, depending on other factors. For 2025 to 2026, the robust ice pack adds complexity, possibly tempering some warming influences and contributing to the cold reservoir. It's a wild card that could tip the balance as the season unfolds. Official forecasts from agencies like NOAA lean toward a warmer-than-average start to winter for much of the U.S. These outlooks rely on climate models and long-term trends, but not all experts agree. Some forecasters point to rapid Siberian snow growth and Arctic cold as signs that official models may be underestimating the risk of a colder winter. The divergence comes from different forecasting methods, statistical models versus analog and real-time observations. This healthy debate highlights the uncertainty in long-range forecasting. The official outlook is a starting point, but alternative scenarios could play out if key signals strengthen. Beyond the big drivers, several atmospheric oscillations will fine-tune this winter's outcome. ENSO is expected to be neutral, so other patterns like the North Atlantic Oscillation NAO, and Madden-Julian Oscillation MJO, become more important. A negative NAO can trigger cold, snowy outbreaks in the eastern U.S. and Europe, while a positive phase keeps things milder. The MJO, a tropical pulse, can shift the jet stream and bring short-term swings, sometimes reinforcing, sometimes disrupting the main pattern. The interplay between these oscillations adds complexity and unpredictability to the forecast. In a neutral ENSO year, the NAO and MJO may be the wild cards that decide when and where winter's worst hits. Forecasters must watch these patterns closely for sudden changes. The evidence points to a potentially colder, more active winter than official models suggest, but surprises are always possible. The polar vortex is the biggest variable. A strong one keeps cold bottled up, while a weak one unleashes Arctic air southward. Sudden stratospheric warming events or shifts in the Pacific blob could flip the pattern mid-season. The NAO's phase and the MJO's timing will add week-to-week -week twists. Forecasters will closely monitor Siberian snow, the polar vortex, and ocean temperatures for real-time clues. While the stage is set for an active winter, the final story depends on how these variables interact. The performance is just beginning. Stay tuned as winter 2025 to 2026 unfolds.